In this video, we are going to convert this HTML theme into the Laravel framework. The main focus of this video is to focus on the advanced concept of routing. So this is the HTML theme which I got it from the W3 layout and you can I'm not using it for the commercial purpose. I'm doing it for the educational purpose. Fine. Now this is the this is how it looks like the file structure of static HTML. Now let me create a Laravel project. To create a Laravel project, we need to get into the terminal which I have already created in the folder Angular just by having the code new ng new the project name and routing is yes and I'm using the CSS. I have opened the my project in the Visual Studio code. So let me open the terminal with control and tilde sign. So now we are going to check the project in the website. Sorry, in the browser. For that, ng serve is a command. It will open you in the URL called localhost colon 4200. 4200 is the port name. Fine, if I open it, you will get the default welcome page. Now, now we are going to see where this default welcome page is coming from. We have already seen how the file structure works. In the index.html, this is a place where we can change our title name. Let me make it as, an, as my channel name. Without refresh, it will get updated. And now the index.html will call the app component.typescript. And uh, the selector, it will search for the selector. So this selector, I have used it in the index.html. And this selector is defined in the app component.html. So this is the this is the page. So I want just a simple heading saying here, hello, I am here. So now the HTML welcome page will be replaced with our heading. Now what we are going to do is we are going to create a component for every pages. So we have four pages. Along with the four pages, we are going to create component for header and footer. So home, about, blog and contact are the page name. And we need a header and a footer as well in the form of component. To create the component as like in the previous video, we are going to create do a command on terminal, which is let me create a open and note terminal. Now ng generate component and name of the component so let me create header first I will go with the flow so if I click on enter you will see your file will be created on the app folder likewise let me create the component for footer as well so let's go with the now it's time for the home now we can also give the short short form for this command g for generate and c for component and name of the project sorry name of the component which is about in this case i'm going to pause it and create everything so i have created all the component footer blog contact and uh, about and home and we can find this component in the app folder So you can see the app dot for for a component we need four files, two types of file, one HTML and one CSS. So that will be available for those created component as well. Now we are going to generate. We have generate uh, call the generated component in app component dot HTML. So we know the process. Index dot HTML calls the app component dot HTML. So we want to place all our created component. So let me note me let me note it on a notepad. So what we need is we want all our created component to be displayed on the app component.html. Because we know app component.html selector is used in the index.html. So in that way, 
indexed HTML calls app component HTML and app component HTML calls all our created component HTML fine now I'm copying all the selector along with the selector we need the TypeScript class name as well so let me copy the TypeScript class name also this is the class name so let me forward it a bit fine now we are going to use these selector or you can see this component in the form of selector on the app component.html in the form of the selector can be used in the form of HTML tags so let me remove it load those selector here okay now let's load our selectors for just time being I am just pasting the header the body and the footer the body of home page only not the about or contact us and the footer and now if I see header working footer working but in between home is not working let me see why I think there is a spelling mistake it's home now you'll see the corresponding HTML works now what we are going to do is we are going to replace the HTML corresponding HTML with our HTML with our HTML template now before that let me copy paste all the required CSS JavaScript and images on the assets folder of angular we are going to copy the header HTML to header component so now in the header component open the HTML template create any open any file and just copy paste the header section now let me see the output it's simply the HTML the CSS is missing we have to link the CSS on the head tag the head tag of index.html let me copy all the script and link tag from index.html and we just have to replace the URL because our JS file CSS file and images are in the folder assets let me do that for the let me do that let me do the same for the CSS as well fine now we need to do that for in images as well we'll do later on now you can see your CSS file sorry your CSS file has been updated and uh, you can see the output now let's do it for the footer as well you're going to copy the footer HTML from the HTML template I'm going to paste it on the footer dot component dot HTML open the component so in the HTML page let's copy paste the HTML static HTML if you refresh it now the header and footer is working now let's work on the body section which is the home component not just the home component but for all the pages whatever is there in between header and footer I'm copying it and going to paste it on the home.component.html
you can see I am copying the script tag as well it has source attribute we know the JavaScript file is inside the assets so we have to modify that it says the error there is an error let me find where it is showing now I'm replacing all the images I'm not replacing the images I'm replacing the path our images are inside the assets folder that's what I'm doing now it's already one directory up and there is still not resolved let me see where it is I'm going to remove this this is what creating the problem let's check the output let me remove it so the script won't block our code fine that's working so this is the home page now the images on footer is not visible you can see in the static HTML there are images but in footer of our angular there is no HTML sorry there is no images so that means the path is wrong get into the footer component You just have to modify the URL or the path name we know our images are inside the folder called assets which is in the which is in the about directory so dot dot slash now our angular also has the images now the header logo is missing so that means again the header file has an image we need to modify the URL of it it's not a URL you can see the location or the file location now it's visible now you can see the home page is working now let's work on the about blog and contact the same way the header we have already fixed the header and footer now we just have to paste the content of about in the above component So before that let me register the let me re, let me register URL on the routing page so what we are going to do is we are going to define the URL of each page and this router outlet will let you identify will make you identify the appropriate pages loaded will make sure that your appropriate page is loaded when there is the call for the URL that means when there is a call for a URL the router outlet make sure only the app root app home is loaded the same way when there is the request for contact URL the router outlet tag make sure only the app contact HTML only loads so that's the work of the router outlet so now you can see we want only one pages to be loaded so for that let me get into the app routing module so let's define the URL first so let's get into the documentation so we are going to define the URL and the associated TypeScript file so the URL for home page let me name it as just home 
let me we don't have to make the url for header and footer so i'm going to paste it at the bottom we have to make your uh, routing for three files sorry three components so this is the url for home page and we want the corresponding typescript file to be called the same way i'm going to do it for all threes all four of them once that that is done let me see let me call the url home slash home so only the home slash contact only the contact need to be loaded but you can see all the files are getting loaded we don't need that so for that let me remove all the tags inside let me see do i make some other mistakes yeah we have to remove all this and uh, the your angular is smart enough to identify and show you the output you don't have to paste all your selector you just have to paste your header and footer and the router outlet tag fine now if i you see contact is working if i go for about the about component is called in between the header and footer so if i call blog the blog will be routed on the router outlet in between the header and footer now we are going to paste the static html templates code to our laravel component which we have already covered in the previous video so just let me show you the one let me just show you the one component so we'll open the html template open the contact page and whatever is there in between header and footer just copy paste it copy it and paste it on the component contact component so now previously it was just a paragraph tag now in place of paragraph tab now we load the html so it says there is an error because i have used javascript let me remove the javascript over there let me paste it again it says in the text area you are using the javascript that means it is not closed for an element it says so let me remove all the script tag scripts from the html and on focus let me remove the on focus as well i think we have i have missed the slash i need to remove that slash as well and that's working fine now you can see let me open the blog the same way we are going to copy the block page html to the block component whatever is there inside the header and footer i'm going to copy it so let me fast forward it we have already done this we are going to do it for three times in between i have made a mistake on the routing i have called the class two times so let me correct it for blog it sh there should be block component and uh, again we need to import the block component so let me import the block component now you can see on request and requested url you are getting your component is getting loaded in between the header and footer and now let's work on the menu links you see your menu links are in the header page header component so for that we are going to use an attribute called router link
we need to remove the HTML so that an outer link is the attribute so let me check the spelling in place of hash or you can say hash is in place of href what you're writing you need to write it on the router link it's simply the url let me do it for all the anchor tag or you can see all the links of menu so it's not index it's home Let me copy paste properly. So by making it when I click on the home link, the router link URL is called on the browser and your home component is loaded in between the header and footer. And again, let me and if I delete domain, it says it just shows the header and footer we don't want that when there is a request for domain like we need to display the home page of it so for that when there is the request for space in the URL we want to display or we want to redirect to the home URL so we know what home URL is it is just the index page so if I directly go for the, go on the domain you will see your home page, home URL loads up you can see now the about is getting loaded and blog contact is getting loaded but you can see the active link is not getting changed if I click on about the active link is still in the home if I click on contact the active link is still on the home so for that we need to add an attribute called router link active and we need to pass the class name so if we are in the particular class so if we are in the particular page our the active class is added to the link if we are in the about page so the active class is added to the about link if we are in the block page the active class is added to the block link now if you see now we are in the home now we are in the about now we are in the block now we are in the class sorry contact accordingly the active is added and that's all for this video. Thank you so much for listening.